One of the more confusing topics in introductory economics is whether demand curves and supply curves are shifting or if you're just moving along the demand curve or the supply curve. In this first lecture, I'd like to clarify a few things about whether you are moving along a demand curve or whether the demand curve actually should shift given some information about the problem. So, as we have here, if you take a look at this graph, we have the demand for, as I've illustrated, PBR. If you're unfamiliar with PBR, that is Pabst Blue Ribbon. It is a type of beer, um, and if it's sort of something that a, a college student would, would typically have. And so, here it is. We have the price on the vertical axis, as we have shown in the book, and on the horizontal axis, we have the quantity. There's the demand curve sloping downward, as it always does. Now the question becomes, well, what happens if the consumer that we're modeling here gets a raise? Do we move along the demand curve? Is it a mover? Or is, does the demand curve shift? Is it a shifter? Well, one way, the important way to understand the distinction between a mover and a shifter is that the movers are on the axis quantity and price. So if I tell you that the price or the quantity of this good changes, well, that can only move along the demand curve. This demand curve describes a relationship between the quantity and the price of this good. And if you change something that's off the graph, all bets are off, and you can actually change where the relationship actually takes place in this plane. And so, is income one of these two things? Definitely not. That income is not the price, it's not the quantity. And so if we get a raise, that is a shifter. Now, as a side note, if we get a raise, we may actually consume less of Pabst Blue Ribbon and more of perhaps a, a better quality beer. Um, my favorite is Guinness. Um, Pabst Blue Ribbon in that case would be called an inferior good. If your income goes up, you consume less of it. Now, what if the price of PBR decreases? Well, right here's the price of PBR. That would mean that it is a mover. The price of PBR decreases from there to there. We move along the demand curve. And that is what we would call a mover. Now, let's look at the next example. What if Tony gets married? Looks like it already happened, um, so I can tell you from experience, I might have been a wild uh, single person. Uh, but when I got married, I had some tastes and preferences that changed a little bit. I may have uh, calmed down a bit, may drink a little bit less PBR. Some of you out there might think that getting married might drive me to drink even more. Now what does it look like when you actually shift? changes the actual relationship here. I've drawn this to say that marriage drives a man to drink and it shifts the demand curve out. This is a, a shift outward in the demand curve and it leads to, at the same price, a greater quantity demand. That is the shifter. Now what happens if the price of pizza goes down? Well, pizza is one thing that we might actually call a complement to PBR. The price of pizza goes down. On the demand curve for pizza, we move along that demand curve. But this is not the demand curve for pizza. This is the demand curve for beer. We consume more pizza on the demand curve for pizza. That's over there on some other board. We consume more pizza, we get thirstier, and we get a similar shift in the demand for beer. And that means that it is a shifter. Price is on this axis, but it is not price of pizza. It is price of beer. It is price of another good. This is a, this is a complement to beer, and that is where we can get a shift in the demand curve. So now you have a sense for movers and shifters of demand curves, and hopefully, when when you are uh, approached in uh, uh, approached with questions about whether you're moving along a demand curve or shifting the demand curve, you'll be able to identify the difference.
Remember, just look at the axis. If it's on the axis, it's a mover. If it's not, it's a shifter.